Okay. Uh, just to uh, well, touch on a couple of things here from this past week before we move on to, to Kansas State. Uh, not not happy with how we played on all three sides of the ball. Wasn't uh, you know, we didn't uh, didn't execute very good. Didn't coach very good. Didn't play with uh, with very much effort. Um, what was disappointing. Didn't didn't think like any of us handled the situation uh, as good as we could have. Uh, that that's uh, and, and one thing I tell the team all the time is is we're all in this together, coaches and players. So anything I say. In reference to uh, a, a player, I'm, I'm making reference to coaching as well. So uh, we just didn't handle the situation very well. You can you can spin it a lot of different ways if you want to. Bottom line is, is we didn't get the job done. Uh, we came back on Sunday, watched a whole lot of tape, wasn't a whole lot of positive things being said, uh, and we need to change the mindset of our football team right now. I think we're a good football team. Uh, we 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 haven't had to deal with this in a long time. Uh, it's it's been. You know, almost a year since we've had to deal with this, and, and we've won a lot of games in the meantime. So our job as, as coaches is to get back to, to what what made us win in all those games, and, and that's uh, that's working hard and, and playing with a tremendous amount of effort, and, and uh, being disciplined, being smart, playing hard, playing fast, and, and, and playing physical. So uh, we, we got our hands full with that this week. Uh, we got Kansas State coming to town, who is a, a Top five team who's who's playing really well uh, together on all three sides of the ball. Probably the most disciplined team I've seen in a long time uh, on all three sides of the ball. They're they're extremely disciplined. They don't they don't they don't make mistakes. Uh, they don't make mistakes on, on any side of the ball. They play with tremendous effort. They play extremely physical football. Uh, they 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 have a lot of experience. Um, you know, shoot, they're they're as smart of a football team as I've seen quite some time as well. We pride ourselves on that as well. They, they, they're only getting penalized, I think, three times a game. Uh, and they're, uh, they're probably top five or six in the, in the country when it comes to turnover margins. So not turning the ball over and then creating turnovers on, on defense is something that uh, they, they, they obviously stress. Uh, you know, offensively, it starts with their quarterback. Colin Klein's a tremendous football player. Uh, you, you, you watch him on tape, and you go, "We have to stop the run because between him and their back, uh, Hubert, they rush for 200 and some yards a game between the two of them." Uh, so you, you, you and, and we will we, we work hard on trying to stop the run, and you want to make them pass. And you look at them at you know you look at them back there throwing the ball, and it doesn't look very good, but it goes exactly where you want it to go. So uh, they they got big play potential outside. They got some receivers that can really run, uh, and, and you, you spend so much time focusing on stopping the run that. They have guys that, that make plays on, on the outside, and they do a great job on third downs. Uh, they, they stay out there, and, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be like it was against Maryland. They're going to huddle, they're going to sub, they're going to get their personnel groups in, they're going to go to the line of scrimmage, they're going to try to draw you off sides, they're going to they're going to uh, make sure that they're in the right play, and then they're going to play ball. So uh, it's, it's, we're going to have to. Uh, uh, do a good job of being patient, and making sure that we take advantage of our opportunities. Kicking game, they're solid. They block well. They tackle well. Uh, they got two return guys in Thompson and Lockett that are as good as anybody in the country. Both punt returns and kick returns. They're they're averaging a ton. Uh, their 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 kickers are nearly perfect, averaging 40 yards a kick and a punt, and and almost perfect when it comes to field goals and extra points. And then defensively, just really solid on defense. Uh, much of the same guys that they had last year. Uh, great against the run. Uh, Arthur Brown's a special football player, number four. Uh, as good as I've ever seen at linebacker uh, from an effort standpoint, from a playmaking standpoint, from a physicality standpoint. Uh, don't have many holes in their secondary. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of space to get the ball in there, so we got to do a good job of uh, – of blocking up front and, and fitting the ball into some tight spaces. Uh, don't miss any tackles. Play with, with great effort. So, uh, just a, just a really a tremendous football team that's coming in, and we're going to have to improve on all three sides of the ball. To compete. So we'll take some questions from there. Dana, I, I realize that Kansas State is really good at moving the ball, moving the chains, scoring points in a kind of non-traditional Big Twelve way. Mm -hmm. a more traditional. In a way, is is this a better matchup for your defense that has been consistently burned by the teams that just bring down the game? Uh, could be. Uh, hope so. <laughs> you know, uh, hope so, and it could be. Uh, they, they they pose a lot of challenges. Don't don't you know? Don't let the, the you know 
they're, they're only snapping the ball 63 times a game, but they're averaging 40-some points a game. So they, they have big play potential. Uh, they just do it in a different way as opposed to what we saw. Out of it. It's a little bit more like Texas than it was, which even Texas spreads it and, and moves and all that stuff. But different than Baylor and Texas Tech. I mean, they were obviously a tempo team that spread you out, that threw the ball all over the field. and, and uh, uh, So, that, yeah, this is a different challenge. And, and with any team, there's there's challenges. And this one just happens to be with their – you know, stop it. It always it always comes down to stopping the run, and then and then when they are going to throw the ball, making plays, making plays downfield. We haven't done a very good job of making plays downfield. Uh, to, to a little bit of an understatement, I think. So we will continue to preach what we do. You know, what we know what we know what we're going to face. Scheme scheme is not ever going to be a problem. We, you, there's no secrets. You you got film. You can tell what they're doing. You prepare your kids each and every week to. to line up against it and stop it and then you get those guys out there and, and they got to make plays and then as coaches we got to make adjustments and then you know coach those guys into being able to make the plays. Exactly what the, what the challenges that are different than you've been facing does a spread option present to you? I mean who does you have to you have to change a lot of things to get ready for it? Oh. No, I mean, every, you know, you got your, your your keys, you got your responsibilities, you got to look at it, and you got to, you know, try to develop some tendencies that that, that helps you uh, be able to defend it. But um, regardless of what people are doing offensively, we're we're going to coach our guys as far as what their assignment is when it comes to matching up with the sets and 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 being able to execute with good technique. We lost a whole lot of stuff technique-wise on, on both sides of the ball last week because our mindset was all screwed up. We, we we lost sight of what's important, which is understanding exactly what your assignment is, what to do, and, and do it without hesitation when it comes to trusting your technique and trigger. And we didn't do a very good job of that. How much of a concern is that, that it's week six and, and mindset is a – is a question that guys aren't maybe mentally in that part. Well, it's, it's a problem, but for every football team that exists out there, it's gonna, it's, it happens at some point. You got to fix it. I mean, it, it, it can happen in a bowl game. I mean, I'm talking about 18 to 22 year old kids here. I mean, who knows what their mindset is? Uh, it's our job. It's our job as coaches. I take full responsibility for it. Uh, I, it's our job as coaches is to figure out if their mindset's not where we want it to be and fix it, change and fix it. We failed last week. Anyway, you go scout team against your defense. You you have a Colin Klein you put out there. No, nobody has one. Right. <laughs> uh, it, that's there's only one of them that exists. Yeah, I mean, I mean we, want, we wanted Will Johnson to do it because he's six foot five and and long. But he got a back problem last week, so he's not going to be able to do it. So we'll, we'll have a couple of guys that are back there that that will will go in the right direction and will look like it. And that's a problem. But you know that, that's that's the problem that exists, and we got to overcome that. I mean, if you can find a six foot five guy that's big, strong, fast, he's probably not going to be on scout team. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But, you know. <clears throat> How tough is it to defend against Klein? He's so patient when he runs. Tough. Mm -hmm. Averaging 100 yards a game doesn't make any mistakes. You know, and so you you try to junk up the box and stop the run and 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 put more people in here and then they're you're weak on the outside. And so then he, he he throws it to those fast guys outside where we gotta we gotta make plays out there. So talk about how you guys haven't had to come back from a loss since almost a year ago. How did the guys take it? How was the attitude yesterday and, and heading into this week? It was embarrassing. I mean, the guys were embarrassed, they were hurt, they were uh, they were disappointed. Uh, it, it's it's uh, you know, it's no fun. I mean, it's no fun for anybody, you know. And so we got in here, and, and I didn't sugarcoat anything. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a positive session. It wasn't a, it's okay, guys. You know, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. I mean, that, that's, that's not what we did. We, our job is to coach them and tell them what, what reality is. I uh, told them what reality is prior to going out there, and, and it, we didn't reach them. And, again, that's, that's my fault for not reaching them. Uh, you know, I had a lot of guys that – wanted it to be easy because, you know, we just went through two hard games against Baylor and Texas and, you know, won, uh, won close games and a couple of shootouts and, 
that had a whole bunch of people on that airplane going up there that wanted it to be easy. That's not reality in the Big 12. That's not reality in college football. Uh, so uh, we, 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 were, we were honest with them. And there wasn't a whole lot of positive stuff being, being told or being said. With that said, the, se the sense of urgency in meetings, the attention in meetings, the getting out there in practice and, and, and on Sunday night and flying around and, and you know understanding that it's important to them. I was happy to with the way that went. Uh, hopefully here in about an hour when we'll get in here for a team meeting, the, the sense of urgency is high and the attention is, is high and we'll get out there and, and play with tremendous effort and practice. It's, if, if not, it's not going to be great. Are you... Uh... Are you saying they were overconfident going into that game, or, or cocky, or, or just, just not, just not prepared mentally to, to face it? Well, if I had those answers, then I, I, I would have fixed it before. Oh well, yeah. I mean, it, it's, I mean, we're, it, it's, a, it's a challenging game. I mean, I think we all, we're all spoiled with as much as we want around here. And, and we're not, we don't like the loss, and we're, we're, we're not going to get used to it. I, I can assure you that. Uh, with that said, there's a whole bunch of people out there doing the same things that we are. And there's there's nine other teams in the Big 12 that, that, that are all used to winning and that all have really good facilities. And it's going to be challenging each and every week. My, my message to the team going last week was accept the grind, accept that, because it's reality. I mean, Texas Tech have been the – Bowl games, 19 out of the last 20 years, or whatever it is. I mean, it's a good program, with good facilities, and it was a good football team. We, we watched them on tape, and we said, "Look, these guys are pretty dang good. You, you better be ready to play." And we didn't have enough guys that that, that bought into that. And it's, that's that's 100% my fault and my responsibility to make sure that they get it, and they didn't. Haven't been able to watch the film. What were they doing defensively that was so effective? What were they doing that that slowed you guys down? Just playing good sound defense. The same stuff that they did on tape. Scheme, scheme's not. You don't trick anybody. There, there's too much. There's too many good coaches out there. There's too many good schemes out there. There's too much film. There's too much material. There, nobody's tricking anybody. It gets right down to uh, being prepared for the looks, which we were. Uh, and then having the proper mindset to get out there and be mentally tough enough to overcome adversity, which on that particular day we weren't. And speak, speaking of sound, sound schemes, that's hard to say, uh, how, how does it happen that you wind up in a passing air raid offense, he winds up in a spread, you know, a spread option offense, and uh, both, I mean, they seem very different, yet they both get the same same kind of results. Well, it, it, I mean, do I think that there's schemes out there that are better than the others? Yeah, because that's what we're doing. But does that mean in reality that our scheme is better than somebody else's scheme? No, you just, you got to you got to believe in something. You got to commit to something. You got to do it. The people that aren't successful is, is the people that try to, you know, semi-commit to one scheme and semi-commit to another scheme and semi-commit to another scheme and kind of mold everything together. That doesn't typically work, but when you when you believe in something and you just stick to it and do it, you typically get pretty good at it. And then it's about getting players that fit it, and it's about getting players that 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 uh, understand it, and, and getting players that are in position to make plays, and they do. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into winning a football game other than just what the scheme is. To me, scheme is very little to do with it. It's about that. It's about a whole lot of other things that that go into that. How close were you to, to getting Traveris Copeland in a, in a game, or just necessitated by the, you know, the, the situation with injuries and stuff? He played. No, I, I mean before. Yeah, he has start this week, so you guys can go ahead and write that one down. He, he's been getting better and better every week, and got him in the game and because we didn't like what we were looking at. So we made the decision to play him, put him in. I almost made the decision to put Devontae Robinson in there. Probably wish I would have. Uh, you know, one, one thing about motivation is that I would think that motivation is, uh, you know, indicative of, of playing time. If, if you like your current situation, you better do what you got to do to make sure that you keep that current situation or that situation is going to change. So uh, if anybody thinks that they're comfortable in their situation and not doing what they got to do to get extremely good at it, then they're sadly mistaken. 
Speaking of that, any injury updates that you can give of guys that are either purely out? Uh, Broderick Jenkins is out this week. He's got a slight cartilage <laughs> tear. He'll be back. It's not a, he'll, 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 be, he'll be back. He's out this week. Um, the rest of them are pretty much day to day. We'll, we'll look at them and see what they're, out, what they're like out there. You said Copeland would be starting which which position? Uh, we'll find a spot. Okay. <laughs> Is that group included? Depends on how the receivers do. I mean, one of them is not going to start. Okay. I don't know. It, I, I say that, but, I, I mean, if Travaris goes out there and doesn't play well this week, then we'll start somebody else. But we made the decision to play him. We put him in the games. So we're obviously going to use proceed him. and use him. Right. I don't know if he's going to be the savior. <laughs> I, it's not It's not like our offense is that broke. I, I was just, I mean, we've do you been, need a savior okay at this point? Year. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. I mean, it's it's all about it, it's about competition. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, Stedman goes down, doesn't play in the second half. Who steps up? Well, we tried some people, and that's the one we settled on. So based on that, then that, that'd be him. You know, hopefully Stedman's back. Dana, what is it about him? He played a bunch of positions in high school, Javars, um, and then it sounds like he could play inside or outside. So he's probably repped it both, and you, you're reasonably happy with that. That's that's pretty yeah. quick and a lot for a freshman. Just quick. Uh, Hindsight, wish we would have forced the envelope on it a little bit earlier. Just in camp, I mean, camp we tried. I mean, it just he didn't pick up on it. But the long, the more he played, the more he was here, the better he's got. So we're gonna play, you know. And if there's any other freshmen that 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 step up this week, then we'll play them. Said it from the very beginning. I don't care who you are, you're gonna play. I mean, I don't know what this puts our freshman total at, but it's a lot higher than it's probably ever been around here. Uh, I don't think he had a twisted ankle. Twisted ankle. And if Braun is able to go, who's your rank back? Uh, either Edgar or uh, who's the other guy? Kindler. Uh, yeah, either either Edgar or Kindler. And again, that that will be indicative of uh, how they practice this week. There goes today. All this injury stuff, I tell you, if people are out, I told you Broderick's out and the rest of them, we'll see how they do today and tomorrow. Does that include Sean Olsen? And, and are you surprised he's always, that he's day to day? It's just, I mean, is that frustrating for you, for him to, to have a guy who's been day to day for uh, yeah. a month now? It's pretty frustrating, but what do you do? You cry about it? But we'll put the other running backs in and try to get them better. Dustin, we, we played him more last week than we had, and he looked a little bit better. So we'll, we'll keep playing him. I mean, I can't do anything about it. I, I, I can't put him on waivers and bring somebody else in here. We coach what we got, and, and that's how we've always approached it. And we're not going to use it as an excuse. We're going to line them up, and we're going to coach them, and we're going to try to get their mindset right. We're going to line up, and we're going to try to be the top five team. How's Dustin handled that increased role? He's, it seems like every week he's, he's done a little bit more. Feeling good? It's like he's handled it fine. He's not where he was last year, but he continues to get better. Yeah, and speaking of freshmen, you put, I think, three in Will's spot, just kind of combination. Um, what did you think of them, given the situation they, they walked into there? Yeah, I don't know how to play hard yet. don't know how to play. Uh, you know, they're, they're trying. They're, they're slowly coming along. Uh, they're not ready to be difference makers. They need to, uh, they need to listen as far as what we're coaching them to do. Uh, they're all good kids, but uh, you know we're, we're not interested in just putting good kids out there. We're interested in putting nasty guys that get after people's tail and, and, and make plays and be disruptive, and, and they didn't do that. Uh, we had, I think, four freshmen on the D-line that, that were there that got to continue to get better. We got, we got to keep coaching them. Got to continue to get better. It's not a situation that's that's ideal, but what are we gonna do about it? Okay, thanks, coach. Okay.